श्रीपाद संपद भट्टाचार्य लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई मस्ट थैंक यू फॉर योर काइंडली कमिंग हियर ड्यूरिंग दिस बैस पूजा श्री मैनी बैस पूजा दिस आसन वेर दे हैव सिटेड मी इट इज कॉल बैस आसन the guru is the representative of vyas dev every one of you have heard the name of vyas dev biro vyas so anyone who represents the uh, great acharya Bas de, he is uh, allowed to sit on the bas asan. Uh, so, uh, bas puja guru is representative of bas de. Therefore, his birthday anniversary is accepted as bas puja. Now. i must explain my position because in these days a person being worshiped as most exalted personality is something revolution because they like democracy uh by vote somebody should be elevated have a rascal he may be but our system this guru parampara system is different our system if you do not accept the vedic knowledge through guru parampara system it is useless you cannot manufacture an interpretation of the vedic language just like cow dung cow dung is the stool of an animal the vedic injunction is that if you touch cow dung i any stool of an animal you have to take immediately bath and purify yourself <coughs> but the vedic injunction is also that cow dung can purify any impure place especially we hindus we accept it now by reason it is contradictory the stool of an animal is impure and the basic injunction is cow dung is pure uh, actually we accept cow dung as pure to purify any place out of panchagobba the cow dung is there cow urine is there so it appears contradictory the basic injunction but still we accept because it is basic order that is that is the acceptance of vedas just like bhagavad gita bhagavad gita there are so many rascals they cut short i like this i do not like this no Arjun says, "Sarva me tam rita ngamne." That is understanding of Vedas. If a rascal makes cut, cutting, I do not like this. I interpret this is not Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita means 
you have to accept as it is. That is all. We are presenting therefore Bhagavad Gita as it is. Uh, Krishna says, the speaker of the Bhagavad Gita, he says, Sakalena Juganasta Parantapa. My dear Arjuna, this Bhagavad Gita science, Imang Vivasati Jugam Pratvana Homabha. I spoke first of all to the sun god, and he spoke to his son, Vivasan Manovipra, to Vivasati Mano, Mano Ikhaka Vibhrabhi, evam param praptam evam rajam This is the process. Sakalena juganasta parantam. Anyone who does not come through this parampara system, if he presents any interpretation of Vedic literature, it is useless. It is useless. It has no meaning. Yoga uh, nasta parantam. So that is going on. Uh, it has no meaning. You cannot interpret on the words of God. That is not possible. And dharma means dharman to shakshad bhagavat prani. You cannot manufacture at your home a kind of religious system. That is raskalam, that is useless. Uh, dharma means shakshad bhagavat prani. Uh, just like law. Law means what is given by the government. You cannot manufacture law at your home. Suppose in the street, common sense, the government law is keep to the right or keep to the left. You cannot say, oh, what is wrong there if I go into the right or left? No, that you cannot. Then you will be criminal. Similarly, nowadays, not nowadays, from time immemorial, there are so many religious systems, so many. But real religious system is what God says or Krishna says. Sarva dharman paritajya mami kaṁ saranaṁ braja. This is the simple. Uh, you cannot manufacture it. Therefore, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the beginning is dharma projita kaitavatra paramanimma sarana. So, the, somebody may envy that this person has sophisticated some disciples and they are offering uh, prayers and puja. No, it is the system. Don't enemy. Acharya-mānga-vijāṇyāt-nāva-mannita-karī-chī. Uh, Acharya is the representative of God. Jasya-prasādāta-bhagavat-prasādā. Uh, if you offer uh, prayers, honor to the Acharya, then Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is pleased. To please Him, you have to please His representative. If you love Me, love My dog. And in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Acharya Upasanam. Acharya Upasanam. We have to worship the Acharya. Jasya Devi Parabhakti, Jatha Devi, Jatha Guru. This is the Vedic mantra. Tadvijyanatham sa guru meva avyacche. Tasmad gurum prabaddita jigyasu sri uttamam. Chabdi parichanisnatam. Brahmani pusamasa. Tadviddhi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya. So these are the Indians. The Guru must come through the parampara system, then he is purified. Otherwise he is a rascal. Uh, 
must come through the parampara system. And in order to understand tat vijñānam, transcendental science, you have to approach Guru. You cannot say that I can understand at home. No, that is not possible. Uh, that is the injunction of the all sastra. Uh, the smart guru prabhu. Who requires a guru? Guru is not a fashion. That's like you keep a dog as a fashion, modern civilization. Similarly, you keep a guru. No, not like that. Who requires a guru? The smart guru prabhu. Jigyasu Sreya Uttamam. One is actually serious to understand the science of spirit. So, Tadvigyanam, uh, Om Tatsat. He requires a guru. Guru is not a fashion. Uh, so, uh, Krishna says that. Acharya Mang Vijanya, you accept Acharya as I am. Uh, why? I see that he is a man, uh, his sons call him father, or uh, he looks like a man. So why he should be as good as God? Now because he speaks. Uh, as God speaks, that's all. Therefore, He does not make any change. Uh, just like God says, Krishna says, Sarvadharman paritajya mami kang saranam vaya. The Guru says that you surrender to Krishna or God. The same one. Uh, God says, Manmana bhavamad bhakta mad jaji maskuru. Guru says that you always think of Krishna, you surrender unto Him, you offer Him prayer, uh, you become His devotee. There is no change. Because He says, as the Supreme Personality of says, therefore He is Guru. Uh, even though you see that He is materially born, His behavior is like other man, but because he says the same truth as it is spoken in the Vedas or by the personality of God, therefore he is. Because he does not make any change whimsically, therefore he is Guru. That is the definition. It is very simple. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has asked everyone to become Guru. Everyone, because there is need of Guru. The world is full of rascals. Therefore there is need of so many Gurus to teach them. Ah. But what is that qualification of the Guru? Ah. How everyone can become Guru? This may be the question, next question. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amar Agnaya Guru Hoya Tara Ei Desh. This means wherever you are living, you become a guru and deliver. Suppose you are living in a small neighborhood, you can become a guru of that neighborhood and deliver them. How it is possible? I have no education, I have no knowledge, how I can become a guru and deliver them? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, it is not at all difficult. Jare dakho tare kaho Krishna upadesh. This is your qualification. If you simply deliver the message given by Krishna, you become Guru. Ah. Krishna says, Sarva dharman paritajya mame kang saranang bhaja. You preach, you request everyone, sir, you surrender to Krishna, you become Guru. Very simple thing. Krishna says, Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji maanamaskuru. Uh, you say that you become a devotee of Krishna. You offer obeisances. Here is a temple. Here is Krishna. Please come here. You offer your obeisances. 
And if you can, you offer patram puspam phalam toyam. If you don't offer, but if it, it is very simple thing. Anyone can secure a little flower, a little fruit, a little water. It is not at all difficult. So this is the Guru's qualification. Uh, Guru does not show any magic or produce some wonderful thing, then he becomes Guru. Uh, so practically, I have done this. Uh, people are giving me credit that I have done miracles. But my miracle is that I carried the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jare Dakho Tare Kaho Krishna Upadesha. So this is the secrecy. Uh, so anyone of you, you can become guru. Uh, it is not that I am an extraordinary man, an extraordinary god coming from some mysterious place. It is not that. It is a very simple thing. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that jare dakho tare kaha krishna so I request you, they follow the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instruction, that <coughs> you also, you become a guru at your home. Uh, it is not that you have to make a gigantic show of becoming guru. Uh, the father has to become guru. The mother has to become guru. Uh, Actually, in this hastra, it is said, one should not become father, one should not become mother if he does not become a guru to his children. Namo chayeta samupeta mrittum. If a person is unable to save his child from the clutches of birth and death, he should not become a father. This is real contraceptive method. Not that have sex like cats and dogs and when the child is there, kill it and abortion. No. That is the greatest sinful activity. Real contraceptive method is that if you are unable to deliver your son from the clutches of birth and death, do not become a father. That is one Pita na sasyad, janani na sasyad, guru na sasyad, namo chayaja samupeta mrittam. If you cannot save your children from the clutches of birth, this is whole Vedic literature. Punar janma jayaya. How to conquer over next birth, next material birth? They do not know. Foolish person, they have forgotten Vedic culture. What is Vedic culture? Vedic culture is to conquer over the next birth, that's all. But they do not believe in the next birth. Ninety-nine point nine percent people, they have gone so down uh, from the Vedic culture. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita also, the same philosophy is there. Taktati hanga punarajanma naiti maameti This is Vedic culture. Vedic culture means by the evolutionary process we come to this human form of life. Here is the chance of stopping transmigration of the soul from one body to another. Tathadi hantar prapti. And you do not know what kind of body I am going to get next. Uh, This body may be prime minister or something, and next body may be dog by the laws of nature. Prakita kriyamanani gulai karmani sarvas. Ahankara vimura atma karta. They do not know. They have forgotten this culture. Uh, misusing this human form of body like animals, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. This is not civilization. The civilization is Purajanma Jayaya. How to conquer our next material birth? Uh, that is Krishna consciousness moment. Uh, therefore, you are presenting so many literature. It is being accepted all over the world. Learner circle. Take advantage of this moment 
we have tried to open our humble attempt to open a center here. Uh, so do not be envious upon us. Kindly take mercy uh, upon us. We are our humble attempt and take advantage of it. That is our request. Thank you very much.